What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am That Props Girl. I am so sorry that I have not posted a video in a couple of weeks. Life has been a bit hectic at the moment. I had a production of High School Musical which ended up getting shut down because of COVID and it's just been a whole big mess of a time. But I am back and I am super excited for the video that I bring to you today. We are going to be making a fake cherry pie. Now this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I made one a couple of years ago and it was alright for what it was. It was great for where I was back then but I've grown so much as a creator and a designer since then so I really wanted to try this again and I wanted to bring you guys along for the journey so if you are keen to see that then stick around if you are new around here I want to say a big hi and hello to you you are so welcome in this place thank you for being here I'm so excited to share my tutorials and my journey with you of creating things and all the weird and wacky things that happen on this channel if you guys have subscribed to either my TikTok or Instagram you guys would have seen some of the behind the scenes stuff that happen on High School Musical. So while you're there, be sure to go and subscribe to both of those platforms as well. And with all that said and done, let's jump straight into today's video. Alrighty, now I don't 100% know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I wanted to use some like of those tart tins like that a custard tart comes in, but I couldn't find any. So I'm actually gonna try and make a mold out of a plastic container so hopefully that goes well I'm using my least favorite air drying clay because I haven't had a second to go and buy the stuff that I really like because they move the store where it is and it's now far away from my house but I'm gonna try and make it work so I'm gonna roll out the clay and then kind of make the base for the pie in here hopefully it doesn't stick and then I'll go in and make the filling in theory it should work however I have been wrong before so we're gonna find out together what happens so hold on to your hats. This is fairly flat now. I don't want it to be too thick, but this clay does not like to roll out completely. So we'll just see how we go. Let's see and place it in there and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't crack. This clay also has a tendency to crack, so Said, it's just not my fave. I personally prefer the Crayola one, um, but you know, desperate times, sometimes beggars can't be choosers. So it looks a bit like this. Kind of, it actually does look like real pastry, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm just kind of pressing that into the edges and then I'm gonna press that in. I didn't think that this would actually be the case, but I, I actually have made um, pies from like real pastry uh, in, in real life. I don't always make fake food. And um, this is such a similar consistency. I'm actually quite surprised. Okay, so I'm gonna fold over the edges. That so you can see it there overhanging there. And then I'm gonna take a knife and cut off the excess. All right, so now we have a container full of clay and as I said, it actually does look like a base, which is cool. I'm going to go in and now I was thinking about cutting out a slice of it, but it, it looks so perfect, I don't wanna do that. So I think I'm just gonna make it fully. Um, and normally I would leave this to dry, but because I wanna do lattice work on the top and I'm a bit concerned about attaching it afterwards, um, I think I'm gonna put it all together and if it cracks, it cracks. We will figure out what's going to happen. So I'm going to take wall filler like I always do and I'm going to pop that into a container. I will mix in both a crimson red and then this red ochre paint into it. And then I've got some little styrofoam balls because I want to make this like a cherry pie. And I'm going to pop them into the mixture too. So now that this is mixed, it actually looks a lot like red velvet, which is kind of cool. Um, so now I'm just going to, now I'm just going to pack it into the bottom of this to fill it up. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of my future videos and leave me a comment down below answering the question of today's video, which is, what is your favorite kind of sweet pie? I personally can't go past an apple pie, but I'm really curious to know what yours is. So now that that is all full and actually quite heavy, I'm going to take some floral foam and the bottom side is painted and I have no idea what I painted it for. Some project a while back, it may even be on the channel. I have no idea. Anyways, I'm gonna take some toothpicks, stick them in here. And then I'm gonna take some styrofoam balls and just pop them on the top. Then I'm gonna go in and paint them with a mixture of the same two colors. Whilst these are drying, I'm going to roll out the leftover clay that I have to make some, um, what is it called? Um, the crisscross strips that go, wicker basket. I'm gonna, I want to do a wicker basket weave with the pastry. So I ended up cutting all of these strips of clay. And once these are dry, I'm just gonna press them into the mixture in there and then maybe cover it over with a bit more of the red velvet before I make the lattice structure. All right, so not too bad. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the extra wall filler and pop it in and around the edges there. Now it's time to make the lattice. Hope it works. All right, so I'm quite happy with this, like, and I can go in and fill in these little red bits in there with some paint, which I'll go in with a paintbrush later, but I'm just patting down the edges here and then kind of pressing it into one another all over here. And then I'm gonna take a knife and cut off all the excess. Let that dry overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow morning and see what's happened. Alrighty, and here we are, and it looks fantastic. I am so pleased with how this turned out in the end. And when I was painting the styrofoam balls, it really gave me vibes from when I was making some fake green pea soup for a production of The Witches back in April. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. And there's a little hint to go and follow me over there. So you can either leave the base like this or you can go in and paint it. Now, if you watched my video on how to make fake pizza, you would have seen me paint air drying clay like this before. And I actually used watercolor paint and I did the same thing as well on, I think my fake ice cream cone video so be sure to go and check out both of those two videos once you're done with this one because I'm not going to go through that process again in this video but once it is all done cover it in Mod Podge and then it won't crack and fall apart but as I said I'm really happy with how this turned out if you want to see more videos about making fake foods I have a whole playlist which you can check out so be sure to go and look at that one after you finish this video as well you may be wondering why there are fans in the background of my video these are actually ones that I made for a production of Aladdin last year I will link that video up above as well if you want to check that out because I did a full tutorial on how I made these for the Prince Ali parade uh, and as I said before if you want to check out any of the stuff that I did on High School Musical be sure to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok and also remember to hit the like and subscribe button to this video if you enjoyed it answer the question of the video and I will see you guys next time bye